Let's face it, it's not easy to design and implement a software-defined data center. Compute, storage, network, operations, automation. There are a thousand ways to put those elements together to make something that works, but not all of them produce the best result. What you need is a blueprint. Blueprints spell out exactly which elements you need and the precise way to put them together to create the strongest structure. That's why we've established the VMware Validated Designs, or VVD. We've done the hard work of synthesizing the various software-defined data center elements into standardized and streamlined designs that reduce deployment risk, decrease time to value, and make it easy to manage the day-to-day -day operations of your new software-defined data center. Think of how many decisions you have to make when planning a deployment. You have to identify your hardware needs so you don't over or under purchase. You have to study many reference architectures to determine which one makes the most sense. Then you have to ensure all the software versions are compatible with each other. The VVD addresses these concerns. We've extensively tested a set of designs to make sure they can handle whatever you throw at them. Think of them as a set of software-defined data center blueprints. When a component product of the software-defined data center gets updated, the VVD design, guidelines, and documentation all get updated too, so you never have to worry about falling behind. Upgrades and patches are also tested against VVD designs prior to release to ensure compatibility. Several VVD reference designs exist, each targeting a different deployment topology, SDDC foundation, single region, and dual region, and each with the pertinent availability scale and automation capabilities built right into the architecture. So, what does a VVD reference design look like? All VVD reference designs are built using a common set of four building blocks, referred to as pods. This foundation provides a highly agile framework for building a highly available, reliable, and scalable software-defined data center. These pods include the management pod, which hosts the solutions used to manage and monitor the SDDC, including vCenter Server, vRealize Operations Manager, vRealize Log Insight, and vRealize Automation. In the management pod, network and security is provided by VMware NSX, and storage is provided by VMware Virtual SAN. Along with the management pod, we have the Edge pod, the Edge pod provides additional NSX networking services to allow external access to and from the SDDC compute workloads. Next, we have the Compute pod. The Compute pod hosts the user-based workloads and services running in the SDDC. And finally, we have the Storage pod, which provides tiered storage services to the user-based workloads running in the Compute pod. And there you have it, in a nutshell. Best practices, detailed test plans, measurement and optimization, deployment and operations guidelines, and continual validation per product release. VMware validated designs do it all. In other words, we've crafted a blueprint for the perfect building. And now, all you have to do is use the VVD designs to create it. For more information on the VMware validated designs, visit vmware.com go vvd.